the biggest fear is always how far is this going to go before someone gets hurt. And now I feel like this is what it's come to. The trustees say the mayor should have immediately launched an investigation. They're calling on the mayor and the unnamed trustee to resign. For you to cover up something like this, allegations of someone doing this to someone, is horrible. And you cannot leave the village of Dalton under these circumstances. Everybody involved, if you hold a position, you should resign immediately. There's already enough shame being, being brought to this village. How much more? Absolutely. Shout out to trustees Tammy Brown, Norwood, and Belcher. Right now, they are speaking out against Tiffany Teflon Tahoe, the mayor of Dalton, Illinois, that's been destroying the village and Thorne Township, spending all of the money, retaliating against business owners, employees, residents, both men and women. The latest two people that accused her of retaliation is a police officer and her former assistant. Both of them are part of a complaint that accused Mayor Tiffany Tahoe of hiding some insane allegations against one of the trustees who went on the trip with her to Las Vegas. According to the complaint, the woman and the officer met with Tiffany the day after the alleged incident. The super mayor told the woman to trust her. She was going to get down to the bottom of it. Next thing you know, the woman was placed on leave and eventually terminated. Now the trustees are calling for the resignation of the mayor and that trustee involved in that alleged incident we're going to get into it but first take a second to make sure you're subscribed to the channel and click the notification bell for all updates won't waste any time let's go ahead and get into it more drama in dalton tonight several trustees are calling on the mayor and another village trustee to resign both are at the center of an investigation nbc 5's regina waldrop started working on this case six months ago she joins us now with more on what she's learned regina i'm marion and stefan oh, we obtained copies of complaints accusing mayor tiffany hanyard and an unnamed dalton trustee of sexual harassment retaliation and discrimination and the department of human rights tells us it is investigating at the center of it all a trip they all took last year to las vegas and a sexual encounter one woman says was not consensual. I want to clarify something early on here. There are six trustees in Dalton. Three women, three men. We can eliminate the three women because none of them went on the trip. Also, the trustee the woman is accusing of doing this is a man. That will leave you with three trustees that are men. We can also cross off trustee Jason House because he wasn't there either. Trustee Jason House did not go on the Vegas trip with Tiffany. The only two trustees who went on the trip with her are trustee Stanley Brown and trustee Andrew Holmes. They're the ones who went on the trip with Tiffany Tahoe and members of her administration. It was a trip that she and her team planned and they used the money from both Dalton and Thornton Township to fund that trip. They spent tens of thousands of dollars to go there and that's where this alleged incident took place. There are six elected trustees on the Dalton Village Board. Some of them joined Mayor Tiffany Henyard last May on an economic development trip to Las Vegas. It was on that trip that the mayor's now former assistant claims she was the victim of an unwanted sexual encounter carried out by an unnamed Dalton trustee. She filed this complaint with the Department of Human Rights. According to the woman's complaint, after having dinner with the unnamed trustee, she started to feel disoriented. Then she blacked out. The next morning, she woke up in the trustee's hotel room with no memory of how she got there experiencing physical discomfort. Officer Byron Miles, who was part of Mayor Henyard's security detail at the time, also filed a complaint with the Human Rights Department. He also went on that trip to Vegas and says in his complaint, the unnamed trustee called him on the phone and told him he had unprotected sex with the woman. In the complaint, he says he recorded some of their conversation. According to both complaints, the woman says when she told the mayor about the incident, the mayor said if this information became public, she'd be ruined. All the work she'd done would be lost. The ex-employee says the mayor told her she would take care of it and to trust her. Days later, according to her complaint, the woman was put on unpaid medical leave without her consent. She was later terminated. Trustees Tammy Brown, Kiana Belcher, and Brittany Norwood did not go on that trip to Vegas. By a show of hands, how many of you knew about these allegations? They tell NBC5 they're stunned to learn about the investigation by the Department of Human Rights and the allegations made by the mayor's former assistant. That could have been any one of us. That could have been either trustee. That could be anybody. I'm furious. This makes no sense. 
I'm hurt and I'm furious. That, that means that these people have known about this for some time. That's the, it's almost a year later. The biggest fear is always how far is this going to go before someone gets hurt. And now I feel like this is what it's come to. The trustees say the mayor should have immediately launched an investigation. They're calling on the mayor and the unnamed trustee to resign. For you to cover up something like this, allegations of someone doing this to someone, is horrible. And you cannot leave the village of Dalton under these circumstances. Everybody involved, if you hold a position, you should resign immediately. And here's my thing with all of this. I understand you can't automatically believe somebody just because they make accusations. However, in her position, you cannot ignore allegations. When the woman says she got medical attention, when she realized what happened, and she went to Tiffany Tahoe along with the officer who also had evidence, an investigation was supposed to be launched. A criminal complaint should have been made as well. The purpose of the investigation is to uncover more details, not cover stuff up. So if the accused is charged, that evidence can be presented in court. Instead though, Tiffany completely covered it all up and that's the problem. She told the woman to trust her, then fired her and also retaliated against that police officer. There's already enough shame being, being brought to this village. How much more? How much more? In a statement, trustee Jason House says he did not go on that trip to Vegas. NBC5 reached out to the two remaining trustees for comment but didn't hear back. The Village, in a statement, told NBC5 it conducted a thorough investigation into these allegations led by an independent third-party company. The statement goes on to say former police officer Miles was interviewed and denied knowing anything about these allegations, and the alleged victim refused to cooperate with our investigation. The statement continues, this is nothing more than two disgruntled Village employees trying to make off with the taxpayers' hard-earned dollars. The Village looks forward to defending these allegations and pursuing all other available remedies to the village. Welcome back to Breakdown Friday. Joseph Ward, Professor Carlton Jones, Patrick Irvin. We're talking about Tiffany Henya, the mayor of Dalton, Illinois. But before I get into that, I want to say thank you for the love that people gave because um, I put a post up on Monday letting you know I couldn't do a show because we had some tornadoes rip through the city. So appreciate all the people who showed all, all the love for that. Appreciate y'all gentlemen as well for showing love on that. Um, Got a new patron. Let me see. I should have had this ready, but it's all good. You're going to get it how it is. Eugene Brewster, my new patron. Want to shout out to you. Thank you for the support. And uh, I mean, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button too. Y'all hit that like button. Let's get as many likes on these videos as possible. And remember, y'all check out FetLifeStation.com this afternoon, 7 p.m. FetLifeStation.com. You see it on PC, Six. on the PC. Six now. Oh, 6 p.m. Yeah. now. 6 p.m. now. So, all right. Church announcements. Well, hood church announcements. So, Tiffany Henry, she's the mayor of Dalton, Illinois. And she's running Dalton, Illinois like it's Popeyes. Like she went to she went to Popeyes University and she's running Dalton, yeah. Illinois as if she as if it's Popeyes. Um that's kind of an insult to Popeyes though. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. You ain't been to Popeyes on Lake Bradford. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. But Popeyes is still <laughs> no. in business. No, and... <laughs> no, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. Stop trying to do it. No, All right. it ain't. All right. <laughs> My bad. But, uh, but so basically, she's operating as if she's a gangster, like with an iron fist, like a dictatorship. And so, um, from all the allegations that we've heard over months, so. Um, I wanted to do this show a long time ago, but I want to collect more information and let more things happen. So the video that you saw is just one of the many videos that a, a, a number of content creators have put out about this particular mayor, Tiffany Henry of Dalton, Illinois, because she's literally, from the allegations, are terrorizing the residents. Hey, root for everybody black, they say, right? You know, uh, I, we supposed to we supposed to have some representation. We supposed to have people who look like us in positions. That's what they say. But what happened when the people that you put in positions that look like you have the the mindset and the will of the white supremacists who been put us in the bad position a long time ago? With with black folk like this, who need white folk? But remember, 
she has the mind, she has that Negro mindset. She's one of the black folk that if white people disappear tomorrow, white supremacy disappeared tomorrow, she would continue it. She would be a part of the black regime that would continue it because that's how she get down. So we're dealing with this faulty leadership, but also the people who put her in position. When it comes to putting our own people in positions of power, we got to make sure that we're putting the right people in. If we're going to be, like we've always said in the past, as much pressure and as much uh, uh, accountability that we put on our leaders, we got to put on our followers as well. We have to put on our voters. What kind of background checks was done? What kind of just deep diving into who Tiffany Henry was? Who she? Who is she? How much of that was done? How much of it was... Well, I like her, she's popular, or she's a black woman, or she's fit the minority categories. Was it that chose for these people to vote for her to put her, put her in this position? But clearly, 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 something's wrong with that lady. Because the way, if all the allegations are true, and the way she's been treating these people, allegedly she's been literally terrorizing the residents of Dalton, Illinois. And we're about to get into it because... You know, we got to do right. We got to do right. Hey, PC, man, I know you fired up already, my brother. What do you just <laughs> overall, just before the clip, before the clip, your overall thoughts on a lot of the allegations and the stories that have come out about Tiffany Henry? Well, first of all, shout out to Pink Book Lesson because she was the one that broke the story. I know a lot of yeah. news outlets out there trying to She'd steal that. First. She was the first one to actually break that story. So shout out to her on... Um, Niggas, and, yeah, give, give her roses, man. Um, anyway, <laughs> so I've been following this for a long time, and um, well, since she's actually been doing, I think going back to like November, um, she maybe even like a minute. Yeah, right. She's been on her ass. Um, and I think the thing that that really stands out is like the audacity. Like this woman, has, uh, Tiffany here, is drunk with power, and she operates like from a um. You know, like 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 a gangster, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's the you know. Uh, I mean, she even had, um, I think they even had like a scene that she did where she was, uh, you know, uh, um, um. She, what, 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 I, I got it for you. I got it for <laughs> you. She dressed up as Nino Brown, right? Right. So <laughs> it, it was the crazy thing was, so. She she came into a meeting all black had you know dressed up as Nino Brown talking about that's the character she was playing. But so her spin was well, no, I'm not dressed up as Nino Brown, the drug dealer. I was recreating the scene for Martin. Well, who was Martin parroting? Nino Brown. Right. You were dressed up as Nino Brown. Talking about you were doing dressed up as Martin. No, you were dressed up as Nino Brown because Martin was dressed up as who? Nino Brown. Right. <laughs> and so, but. That's sort of the thing that she has going on right now. And um and then it just based on um the uh what do they call them out there? They're not the town councilor, I'm mean, council, but um trustees. the trustees. Mm -hmm. They've been operating from a place of um being intimidated, being locked out of their offices, they don't have access to the um the the financials, the records. Um, and they're the ones that's supposed to be actually controlling that. When you have a town council or uh, council of trustees and things of that nature, they're supposed to be the balance of power on the local level, especially when you come to small towns. And she's not just the um, mayor of Dalton Village. She's also the... Um, Another one. Well, no, no. She, she also has, like, she's the trustee. She runs the Thornton Township. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. which like um is in charge of like twelve other twelve other townships in that area. So she will yields a lot of power and she has access to a reservoir of taxpayer money. And you know, uh she's been doing a lot of things on her own for her own benefit, which I don't think I think most politicians, if we're gonna be honest. Because I haven't met an honest politician or honest lawyer. So, um, if we're going to be honest about it, honest about people being dishonest, nobody would mind her feather and her cap if she just did right by the people who put her in there. Now, there was a, um, a sister out there that owns 
several properties and several businesses who tried to put a supermarket in place that would benefit single mothers. And they have like a um, like 90 percent of the households out there, like single parent households in um, Dalton Township, from what I understand. So she was going to put a, put together a supermarket to benefit them. Uh, Tiffany, here you blocked that. The businesses that didn't contribute to her political campaign, yep. she's not yep. allowing them yep. to acquire new business licenses, which is illegal yep. because they haven't done anything to violate like right. anything. So, so what she's doing is she's actually doing what the mafia used to do when the yep. mafia tax businesses who did not fall in line, you know, with their um, protection plans. You know what I'm saying? And that's what she's been doing. Also, she's been cooking the books. So at last check, like two, three months ago, the township, which she received, they had a surplus in the budget. Well, since she's been mayor, now they're like $7 million in the hole. And that's not even including the last few months because nobody else, she's locked everybody else out of the um, off their money. Well, she's locked everybody else out the system, which is supposed to be like even the public is supposed to be able to go in and see where their tax dollars are being spent. Like, you know what I'm saying? So this is corruption without boundaries. Yes. Of it. And unfortunately, we've seen this with a lot of um, black elected officials, whether they be judges, whether they be district attorneys. Whatever. I mean, we're seeing other mayors in other cities. We are seeing this all over the place. And here's the thing. It, it, it even got to the point where, you know, supposedly, you know, there there was there have been some drive bys in here. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, allegedly well, people's houses have been for not cooperating. Right. Um the I mean, it even went as petty as to take one of the pictures like of one of the um trustees off the wall. And supposedly she walked past it, mm -hmm. kicked the damn picture every day. Like, <laughs> the level of petty in this is really, I mean, she's having meetings when she's telling people you're nobodies and I'm the only somebody that anybody wants to talk to. In session, um, they, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's the level of disrespect and disregard and absurdities that's been taking place. And it, 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 here's what it happens see we we get people who, who are not used to anything not used to being in a position of power because prior to this she was one of the trustees that challenged the former mayor about his corruption about his alleged affairs and things of that nature only to come into office and not double down triple but quadruple down on all of the things she accused him of doing so allegedly and we say allegedly because currently there's an FBI investigation going on now um, yeah. about what's happening in their office. And they've been subpoenaed. Um, they, they put subpoenas out on uh, documents and um, access to files that everybody else has been locked out of. So we don't know exactly how far this is going to go. But I do say this. When local, lo when local law enforcement tends to investigate, investigate a crime, typically they'll lock you up first and then go seek the evidence. When the feds come and get you, they've already done the investigation. That's why they have a 90% conviction rate when they take people down. So the fact that the feds are involved, it does not look like it's going to be a good outcome. But the, 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 the bigger picture, and I know we're probably going to get into this later anyway, how does the county... How does the township recover from this? Because they're the ones that put her in office, as Patrick said. 